open our Bible to the book of First Chronicles 15. First Chronicles 15. Following God's guidelines. Following God's guidelines. First Chronicles 15 verses 1 to 24. Preparations for the removal of the ark. The ark. Verse 1. Prior to its capture by the Philistines, the Ark of the Covenant had been located in, Sha in, in Shiloh, uh, uh, which was uh, after, after the, the entrance of, uh, the, uh, of Israel, the Israeli people from the wilderness to the land of Canaan, the place, the place that way, it was chosen as the worship place before before J Jerusalem. So the ark had been located in Shiloh and it was tended by Eli the high priest and his family where where, where prophet Daniel, Daniel uh, prophet Samuel grew up. We can see this in first Samuel 4 verse 4. But now that Jerusalem has been we establish, uh, had been established as Israel's capital. David sets off a temporary uh, tent there in Jerusalem to house the ark. The, the tabernacle that Moses has used in the wilderness is also still in use, located in in Gibeon. In, as we say it in First Chronicles 16 verses 39 to 40. This Gideon in a, is a town in Benjamin, uh, northeast of Jerusalem, not far from there. Verses 2 to 15. David had apparently used the, the interval of time since three months, three months, since uh, his first attempt to move to move the act to determine what he had done wrong. This time he allows you remember well, uh, uh, we wrote we wrote numbers four verses 15 uh, 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 verse 15 18 to 20 uh, that is the instruction that uh, Yahweh gave to carry the act. Now he he determined uh, uh, what he had done wrong. This time he allows no one but the Levites to handle the transportation of the ark. And as we saw, God says not only all Levites but the Kohatites. The Kohatites. So he used, therefore, David used the guidelines of the word of God in Numbers 4 verses 15 and 18 to 20. Rather than his own understanding, he is not going to make the same mistake twice. So he recruits the Levites from various families to participate in this. And first of all, he asks them to sanctify themselves. Those who have sins uh, should uh, should repent on them in order to be to be pure in the eyes of God. Verses 12 to 15, David's anger toward and fear of Yahweh from the first time uh, he tried to move the ark and fell has abated by now. And uh, there is something, there's an incentive in all this. The house where the, the ark stayed for three months. The house of Obededom was blessed by Yahweh. He is all the more motivated to bring the ark of, of in Jerusalem since Yahweh has blessed that family. As I said, the family of Obededom during the three months the ark was in their midst. As we see it in, uh, in verse 14, in, in First Chronicles 13 verse 14. He makes no excuse for his previous failure. He appears ready to right his mistakes and move forward. That should be our spirit. 
we should be we should not be staying at the same place in the situations you know keeping grudges rehearsing in our mind uh, the, the same thing over and over we a Christian must always be ready to move forward take all the situations that he has give it to God but move forward and do the right thing verses 16 to 24 worship is an integral ele element an integral element plan for moving the ark of uh, toward Jerusalem singers are appointed to sing joyful songs with musical accompaniment and uh, this is uh, uh, no ad hoc, group, uh, ad hoc group this is no ad hoc group everyone has specific assignments and the leader is skilled at what he does in addition to to the worship music is the aspect of sacrifice as the priest methodically progress toward jerusalem with the ark every six step every six step they 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 after every six step they stop and two animals are offered to yahweh this is uh, we uh, this is said in uh, this is said in second samuel 6 verse 13 wise and good men may be guilty of oversights which they will correct as soon as they are aware of them david does not try to justify what had been done wrong not to lay the blames to to, to the blame to others but he considers himself guilty with others of not seeking Yahweh in due order which has caused Uzzah's death this is a sad situation as I said a leader should always take the responsibility of things that went wrong First, as a leader, a leader is never someone who goes behind other people to say, not me, no, him, he's the one, not me. That's not a leader. A leader takes responsibilities, and if someone has to be punished, he makes, he does it to show the, 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 the good example, that's leadership. First Chronicles 15 verses 25 to 29, the removal of the ark. Verse 29, David is not just watching the processional, he is actively participating. The account in Second Samuel says that David dances before Yahweh with all his strength in second samuel 6 verse 14. michael michael his wife is a pale and disgust michael was michael who was the daughter of king Saul, and david's first wife when david was forced to flee and leave Michael behind Saul gave her Saul his father gave her to a man named Falty as his wife when David eventually gained the throne after Saul's death he sent he sent for Michael after Michael's scolding of David for dancing she remained childless for the rest of her life God punished her this is uh, second Samuel 6 verses 20 to 23 now let me remind you first of all God 
according to our Lord Yeshua the, uh, the Messiah, God does not allow us to be polygamous. Second, a woman who was already sent to another man as a wife cannot be taken <laughs> according to the word of God. Uh, the word of God, uh, our Lord Yeshua, the Messiah about this, uh, says you cannot uh, uh, separate from your wife, you cannot divorce unless for the ground of, of uh, infidelity, adultery, no other reason. But this woman committed already adultery. So it was not good for David to go and take her again. These are just the consequences, the you know the punishment of of Yahweh on that woman showed shows that it was wrong for David to go to go and take her back. It is good to notice the assistance of divine providence, even in things which fall within the compass of our natural powers. If Yahweh did not help us, we could not stir a step. If we do our worship duties in any degree, in any degree right, we must recognize it was Yahweh who helped us. Had we been left to ourselves, we should have been guilty of some fatal error somewhere. And everything in which we engage must be done in dependence of on the mercy of God through the sacrifice of the Redeemer. Know this, and the Lord Yahweh will bless you. Amen. Hallelujah, let us pray. In accomplishing divine missions, I will blindly follow Yahweh's instructions, not my own understanding. In the name of Yeshua, in accomplishing divine missions, I will blindly follow Yahweh's instructions, not my own understanding. In the name of Yeshua, in accomplishing divine missions, I will blindly follow Yahweh's instructions, not my own understanding. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. After a failure, I will be careful to check Yahweh's guidelines and tolerate no mistake, no mistakes the second time. In the name of Yeshua, after a failure, I will be careful to check Yahweh's guidelines and tolerate no mistakes the second time. In the name of Yeshua, after a failure, I will be careful to check Yahweh's guidelines and tolerate no mistake the second time. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I will, I will neither find excuses, no point fingers for my mistakes. I will write my mistake and move forward. In the name of Yeshua, I will neither find excuses, nor point fingers for my mistakes. I will write my mistake and move forward. In the name of Yeshua, I will never, neither find excuses, no point fingers for my mistake. I will write my mistakes and move forward. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. When I am a leader, I will not try to shift the guilt of my mistakes to others. In the name of Yeshua, when I am a leader, I will not try to ship the guilt of mistakes to others in the name of Yeshua. When I am a leader, I will not try to shift the guilt of mistakes to others. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I will correct the mistakes following Yahweh's guidelines and move forward. In the name of Yeshua, I will correct the mistakes following Yahweh's guidelines and move forward. In the name of Yeshua, I will correct the mistakes following Yahweh's guidelines and move forward. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray.
as a Christ follower. I will not just watch the surface of God's matters. My duty is to actively participate in rendering the service in the name of Yeshua as a Christ follower. I will not just watch the service of God's matters. My duty is to actively participate in rendering the service in the name of Yeshua as a Christ follower. I will not just watch the service of God's matters. My duty is to actively participate in rendering the service. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I will not keep any grudges against those who scold me for my fellowship with God. Father, I will take care of those. In the name of Yeshua, I will not keep any grudges against those who scold me for my fellowship with God. Father, I will take care of those. In the name of Yeshua, I will not keep any grudges against those who called me for my fellowship with God. Father Yahweh, take care of them. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. If God does not help me, I will not stir. I will not stir a step. Father Yahweh, be my helper in everything. In the name of Yeshua. If God does not help me, I will not step a step. Father Yahweh, be my helper in everything. In the name of Yeshua, if God does not help me, I will not step a step. Father Yahweh, be my helper in everything. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. If I do my worship duties in any degree right, I will always recognize it is thanks to Yahweh's help. In the name of Yeshua, if I do my worship duties in any degree right, I will always recognize it is thanks to Yahweh's help. In the name of Yeshua, if I do my worship duties in any degree right, I will always recognize it is thanks to Yahweh's help. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Everything I engage, I do it in dependence of Yahweh's mercy and through Christ's sacrifice. In the name of Yeshua, everything I engage, I do it in dependence of Yahweh's mercy and through Christ's sacrifice. In the name of Yeshua, everything I engage, I do it in dependence of Yahweh's mercy and through Christ's sacrifice. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Father Yahweh, release the power of your Holy Spirit in our midst as the assembly of Christ's followers. In the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, release the power of your Holy Spirit in our midst as the assembly of Christ's followers. In the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, release the power of your Holy Spirit in our midst as assembly of Christ followers. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua and Messiah, we pray. Father Yahweh, I will not lose heart, but keep seeking and knocking and asking you for the Holy Spirit. In the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, I will not lose heart, but keep on seeking and knocking and asking for the Holy Spirit. In the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, I will not lose heart, but keep seeking and knocking and asking of you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I pray for the outpouring of your Holy Spirit in me, for your hand to be stretched out to heal. In the name of Yeshua, I pray for the outpouring of your Holy Spirit in me, for your hand to be stretched out to heal. In the name of Yeshua, I pray for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit in me, for the gift, uh, for the for the hand, for the hand to be stretched out to Him. Thank you, Lord. All to Your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. A prayer point thirteen. I pray for the outpouring of Your Spirit in me for the gift of bold proclamation in the name of Yeshua. I pray for the outpouring of your Holy Spirit in me for the gift of bold proclamation 
In the name of Yeshua, I pray for the outpouring of your Holy Spirit in me, for the gift of bold proclamation. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I pray for the outpouring of your Holy Spirit in me, for your Son's name to be honored and vindicated through signs and wonders. In the name of Yeshua, I pray for the outpouring of your Holy Spirit in me, for your Son's name to be honored and vindicated through signs and wonders. In the name of Yeshua, I pray for the outpouring of your Spirit in me, for your Son's name to be honored and vindicated through signs and wonders. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I pray for the outpouring of your Holy Spirit in me, for the gift of preaching. In the name of Yeshua, I pray for the outpouring of your Holy Spirit in me, for the gift of preaching. In the name of Yeshua, I pray for the outpouring of your Holy Spirit in me, for the gift of preaching. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. For the gospel is your power into salvation. In the name of Yeshua, for the gospel is your power into salvation. In the name of Yeshua, for the gospel is your power into salvation. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. For the Holy Spirit's signs and wonders are helpful witnesses to your word of grace. In the name of Yeshua, for the Holy Spirit, signs and wonders are helpful witnesses to your word of grace. In the name of Yeshua, for your Holy Spirit, signs and wonders are helpful witnesses to your word of grace. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I celebrate the coming of the Holy Spirit in me with singing, worship, and sacrifices. In the name of Yeshua, I celebrate the coming of the Holy Spirit. In me, with singing, worship, and sacrifices. In the name of Yeshua, I celebrate the coming of the Holy Spirit. In me, with singing, worship, and sacrifices. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I celebrate the coming of the Holy Spirit in our midst at Assembly of Christ followers with singing, worship, and sacrifices. In the name of Yeshua, I celebrate the coming of the Holy Spirit in our midst at Assembly of Christ followers with singing, worship, and sacrifices. In the name of Yeshua, I celebrate the coming of the Holy Spirit in our midst at Assembly of Christ followers with singing, worship, and sacrifices. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Thank you, Father Yahweh, that you heard our prayers. Thank you, Lord, for your answers to our prayers. Thank you, Father Yahweh, for your word of wisdom, your word of guidance, your word of teaching, your word of enlightening, your word of spiritual strengthening, spiritual growth, spiritual elevation. Thank you, Father Yahweh that you heard our prayers, our confessions, that you heard our prayers of repentance, and after you heard, you took away our filthy garment of sin and iniquity and dressed it with a brand new garment, a garment cleaner than snow, even the garment of your own spirit. Thank you, Father Yahweh, that you heard our cries, our supplication, our requests, our prayers tonight. Thank you, Lord, for your endless love to us. Thank you, Father, for your mercy, for your grace. Thank you, Yahweh, for your forgiveness. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. Father Yahweh, thank you for your answers to our prayers tonight. Lord, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you all the praise. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Amen. 